Hey guys, this is a dread vlog update. It has been, I think it's been about a month since I've had my extensions in. So that means I'm probably on three or three and a half months for my natural hair dreads. Um, they are starting to, I don't know if you can tell by this one, I'll try to zoom in a little bit on that. See how they're starting to get loops and kind of lumps and I, I've heard that that's a very good sign. Um, they're, I'm still shampooing them like three times a week and I shampoo two to three times. Um, I started an experiment. I noticed my scalp was getting kind of itchy whenever I was using my um, Neutrogena anti-residue shampoo. So I went from washing them three times back down to washing them two. And I washed them with Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. And I've heard, I've seen mixed things um, on different websites as to whether or not you should use Castile soap. Uh, I dilute it one part Castile soap to 12 parts water so that's what I'm using. My scalp feels a lot better uh, as far as is it residue free I don't know. I'm still using the anti-residue shampoo as before I'm using it as well so it's like I'll, I'll use that on the ends of my dreads and but on my scalp up here is where I'm using the Castile soap and it's just it's helping my scalp a lot. So uh, my natural locks are locking pretty much down to the root on their own. Uh, I'm not maintaining them. I'm not doing anything. You can see like here's a broken piece of hair. <laughs> I had watched um, a video from Lazy Dreads about your dreads growing together trying to Congo and um, young dreads do that really bad. So it's like, should you cut them or should you pull them? And there were some that I cut, and but mostly I pull. While my hair is still damp, I'll just kind of pull the dreads apart to just get them apart. I, I don't know which way is better. That's just what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to kind of mess with them as little as possible. I had found a couple of extensions. I don't even know where they are now that were kind of starting to separate and come loose because I had put them in in kind of a hurry and it was obvious to me why those ones were starting to come loose so I redid them I, I had it was only like two or three of them so I had the time to spend to put them in properly and to just take my time I've been rocking like these little pigtails past couple days it's summertime it's freaking hot uh, I'm working outside some um, so I'm keeping them up off of my neck <laughs> so I can be cool. I'm starting to actually let my silver, I'm not even messing with my roots. I'm just going to let my hair grow out. I'm going to try anyways. You know, the the um, less I have to mess with them, the better. So I will attach a picture. Um, let's put it right up here. This is a picture that my son actually helped me take last night. This is my dreads. At, I'm going to say one month. Uh, these extensions they feel they have some some areas that are starting to get kind of tight some areas that don't feel tight at all they feel rather loose uh, but you know they're they're what they are I'm just not messing with them I'm not doing any maintenance unless like I say I notice where's some falling or starting to separate or whatever I found a chunk of hair oh here it is that's coming out oh, uh, I probably got caught on something and pulled out but you know I'm trying to leave them alone and mess with them as little as possible. They say that the less you worry about your dreads, the better they are. So well, that's what I'm doing. And I now I hear my dog getting into something, so I'm going to go see what the heck he's getting into. But thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to, I'll probably post a video, I think I said this last time, where I will eventually show like some hairstyles to do with dreads because I have found like six or eight different hairstyles that I can rock that I really like pretty well. So uh, I'll share those eventually, but it's not going to be today. So stay tuned um, because you'll have that to look forward to. So thanks for watching. Bye.